Okay, she's feisty. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> We've been arguing for the last the last few minutes, and we realize we're arguing the same point. We're best friends. Come on. <laughs> she used to be a math hater. Now you run a tutoring company, uh, and, and in fact, you're doing some math boot camps. As, we are. Uh, we're getting you ready to go back to school, and one of the things we want to do is try and change your attitude towards math. I hated math. I hated math. You failed math. I failed math All right. twice. Uh, I haven't even introduced you yet. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm Vanessa. It's like, we're like, it's like we're, we're like old <laughs> uh, old friends, right? Uh, Vanessa Vicaria, uh, aka the math guru. You failed math. I did. I failed math twice in high school. Um, and I failed it because I was taught by, by everyone, by society, by my friends, by my peers, by my teachers, that I wasn't the type of person that's good at math. And so I believed that. And until I kind of went to a different school and had a different teacher who was sort of like, I'm sorry, you're not a math person. What does that even mean? How about you just try doing math? You know, that was so deeply embedded in me. And once that happened, once I discovered, oh my God, like, you know, this is just math, I can do it. It really changed my life and it inspired me to change the lives of others. And as we were just talking about, it's not about the math, it's about realizing that something you've been taught you can't do, that you believe you can't do, that you inherently believe you're not capable of. Once you discover that you can break that, that you can do that, you can do anything okay. in the world. Easier said than done, Vanessa. Easier said than done. <laughs> and that's the end of the segment. <laughs> ev everybody out there right now who despises math, put up your hands. Put up your hands. Put up your hands. I'm watching. Hey, guys. All right, now, I want you to talk to all those people who have their hands up out there. What are you, what is the first step in order to changing around as you head back to school this year? Mm -hmm. What attitude do you need to get to, to, to get to like math, at least work with yes. math? Yes, okay, good. And that's a great question. So. The first thing is, so many people think that it's about the content, like, oh, this is just so hard, I can't do the content. It's about changing your attitude around math. So it's about seeing yourself as capable of doing anything, and it's about uncovering what it is that's that's kind of your roadblock. Like, for many kids, they feel it's the content, but the what, some of the main things that are in the way are study skills. Like, kids, kids, like, how frustrating is it if you honestly feel like you've done everything to prepare for a test and you still didn't do well, right? That's that's really so why prepare the next time exactly you know and that's that's, that's what happens exactly it. but the schools don't really teach you how so to prepare study. so getting so so trying to change your study habits how yes okay so there's a bunch of key things for math do problems you're not reading over your notes are you staring at a soccer ball for half an hour and then being like i can play soccer now no you need to actually kick the ball with math you need to actually do the problems you not only need to do the problems, you need to check your answers to make sure you're doing the problems correctly. Otherwise, you're like, oh, this is such a breeze, but you've been doing everything wrong. Major, major thing, a lot of kids are not prepared for what's on the test simply because they don't ask. Ask your teacher what's expected of you, what's going to be on the test, what are you expected to do? You bring up something too, that quick note, we have a lot of teachers watching us. Hi guys. Uh, um, you. And you know what, they're frustrated. Yeah. They're frustrated because of the math scores. They're frustrated because Absolutely. they're tied to the curriculum mm -hmm. and they, they may have a better way. What do you want to say to the teachers out there? You guys are so awesome. First of all, I taught in the classroom for a year and it was the hardest thing I ever did. Um, yeah. <laughs> but for teachers, I mean, it is really, really tough. And you know, you have to get that curriculum content out there. Like you have to teach it to the kids and you have a variety of different How learners. do they reach them? Well, I think they're probably all doing their best to do a good job, but I think for kids, it's like, I think part of it is talking to kids about their struggles and t and explaining to kids that failure is a stepping stone to success. I think a lot of kids feel like, my math teacher always got math, they don't understand me, and I think sharing those stories is a really, really good pathway into like gaining their trust and their, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. So communication, you know? Communication. It, you communication. Know? And your teacher, like, and teachers probably know this, like they wanna talk to you, they wanna share their stories, they want you to do well, like no teacher wants their class yeah. to do poorly. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Vanessa Vicaria, uh, it is the themathguru.ca, themathguru.ca for more information. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Good to me. have you back, good to have you back.